Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be going over every single thing that you need to do to be able to start, grow and monetize AI based website or blog in 2024 and beyond. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do is find a reputable hosting and register your domain. Now, there's a lot of different services in which you can use to do so, but I prefer to use Namecheap or GoDaddy. GoDaddy is a little bit more expensive. Namecheap is much, much cheaper. It's very also it's very easy to use. So what you need to do is first start by entering the domain in which you like to go after. So first, just start by entering your website and then you'll be able to see if that um, domain is available. So this domain is available and it's only $13 per year. So then we can go ahead and add this to cart. And then you can also go ahead and add um, some different add ons. I recommend going with WordPress hosting because WordPress hosting allows you to be able to set up your WordPress in like 30 seconds or less. So essentially, once you pay for your domain, you also need to pay for hosting and WordPress hosting is the easiest way for you to get hosting when you're using um, Namecheap because it just makes it much easier for you to then go ahead and be able to use everything together. So once you add that, you can view your cart. As you can see, you will pay only $13 per year for the domain. And then I believe you're paying $10 per month for um, hosting. So it's pretty cheap when you think about it, especially when you compare that to some other websites like GoDaddy. GoDaddy is a lot more expensive, um, but Namecheap is a little bit cheaper. So again, what we can do is once you have everything set up and you pay for your um, you pay for your WordPress hosting, then you'll get an email which looks like this, right? So the email will then tell you that your website is now ready to go. Simple as that. And then you'll see your do domain. You can click on that and then you can go ahead and customize your website. So that's number one is getting your hosting and your website set up. But keep in mind that this is going to be more of a condensed tutorial. If you want to find the full tutorial, if you want to see exactly how I would start grow and monetize a website, then you can join my paid community. It is only $10 per month and it is on school and I do live trainings weekly so we can you can ask me any questions that you may have. You also get access to my AI writing mastery course and you get access to my private community for $10 per month. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link for that community in the description below today's video. So that's hosting and domain. Next, you need to think about your theme. So when it comes to themes, you can either get a paid theme or you can get um, you can get a, a free theme. So what I recommend is I recommend at the beginning, if you're tight on cash, you can use a free theme because there's some really good free themes out there. So again, once our website is now set up, we can go over to our dashboard and we can head over to appearance and then themes. Now themes, again, as you can see, there's a couple different options for you to choose from. You can choose from Astra, you can choose from 2024, or you can choose from Bloxy. Now I really like Bloxy because it allows you to create um, starter sites. So starter sites essentially are sites that are already created. You can upload that onto your website and then you just have to customize it to your likings. So you need to add the add-on, the Bloxy add-on, but once you add that on, then you can head over to that section on your WordPress site, head over to starter sites, and then you'll be able to see some sites in which you can use. So for example, and these are all free to use. Actually, no, this one is pro, but the ones that do not say pro are free to use. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at this free theme. As you can see, it's very clean, loads pretty quickly. Um, but of course, if we're creating a blog website, we want to make sure that the news section is good and we like it and we like the design. So if you like the design, if you think it looks good, then you can use it. If you like to get a, a pro theme, then you can invest a couple of dollars and get a pro theme. So for example, this theme is really, really good. Like you wouldn't have to pay a website developer hundreds of dollars. You can just buy a theme and then if you go over to the box section, it's already optimized. All we have to do is essentially remove the content, remove the images and use our own content. But you are you can be up and ready to go in literally less than a couple of hours. Your website can be up on internet in less than a couple of hours when you use this method. So I recommend using um, Bloxy and I rep recommend using um, either a paid theme or you can go ahead and use a free theme, but use a starter theme because once you then go ahead and you import that theme, this is what it will look like, right? The theme will already be there. You have your headers, you have your footers. It's very clean. And then you can go to the block section. You can click on the block section and you'll be able to see content on the block section, what it looks like. And if you like what it looks like, then you can go ahead and use that theme for your website. So that's how easy it is for you to set up WordPress domain and your theme. You can get it all set up in less than 30 minutes.
So now that you have your theme set up, it's time to do some keyword research. Now, instead of doing traditional keyword research, when you go on a tool and you, you know, type in your keyword and try to find low competition keywords, before doing that, you actually need to figure out the layout, the categories, and how you're going to build topical authority for your website. So the way that I like to do this, I like to use ChatGPT, right? So the first thing that I, I did was, let's say, for example, I'm creating a website around real estate, right? So what I did was I told the AI to give me more categories I can use to write content on for this site. So for example, commercial real estate. So if my main website is real estate, what are my categories going to be under real estate? So one can be residential real estate, and then I can write about these specific topics. Second could be commercial real estate. Then again, I can do the same thing for these topics. These are things that we can probably think of, but this is where ChatGPT gets really useful. Investment and finance, that's pretty good. Legal and regulatory issues, architecture and design, tech and real estate, local market insights, real estate careers and property development, and also international real estate. So this is all really, really good categories, right? That I can use for my site. So for example, if this is my site, this is my home about us, then I can talk about residential, I can talk about commercial, I can talk about, you know, investments in different countries, regulatory, um, design things, tech and whatnot. So this really gives me an idea of how I can actually go ahead and um, format my website in the right way. So now that we have a overview, I can then go ahead and tell the AI to give me more. Let's say I want to get more topics for commercial real estate or whatever it may be. For this example, I told to give me more ideas for tech in real estate. So give me more things that I can write about, about for this niche. It gave me more things that I can write about. So now we already have a bunch of different categories, a bunch of different topics that we can write about for a specific category. So I'd start broad and then I would focus on a specific category. So I wouldn't necessarily write an article on residential, then write an article about commercial. Yes, there might be some overlap. What I would do is I would focus on one of these specific categories first, write maybe 50 to 100 articles on it, like be really, really in depth, right? And we can get content ideas using ChatGPT. So what I did was, again, I told it to now give me blog post ideas for number one here, which is AI and machine learning. We scroll down. I'm getting already about eight ideas for articles around AI and machine learning in real estate, right? So now we have an idea of how we can approach as our writing content for our website. So I'd focus on first getting our categories and then focus on writing on one specific category, go really, really in depth, write about 50 to 100 articles and then move on to a second category. So now that we've written our content or we have an idea of keyword research, now we need to figure out our blog writing process. And there's a lot of different ways in which you can write content. You can use the playground mode. I've showed you guys how to do that. You can use tools. You can use Gemini. You can use Claude, a bunch of different ways. But you need to find a way that's going to make your process quicker, but also efficient, but also write high quality in-depth articles. To do this, I use my own tool, which is called wordrocket.ai. We recently launched. We're still in beta, but it's a really, really good tool that allows you to write content much quicker compared to other ways. So you can also use it for completely free. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for Word Rocket in the description below today's video. But essentially, as I mentioned before, it's very, very easy to use. It allows you to use your own API key. So the cost will actually be much less compared to other tools, especially if you're creating hundreds and hundreds of posts per month. You would just have to pay monthly to get access to all of the templates, or you can pay one time. We have a lifetime deal that we're running right now. Again, I'll leave links for more details on pricing in the description below today's video. But it's very easy to use. All we have to do is, let's say, for example, we're writing about the topic. Let's head back over to chat GPT here. Let's say, for example, we're writing on the topic, navigating the future, how AI predicts real estate market trends. So we can go ahead and copy this article, paste it in here, include an FAQ. We can choose our tone. Let's go professional. And that's all we necessarily need to do. We can add more information if we like, but that's all we necessarily need to do. We can choose between our models and then click generate and the AI will start writing your content for you. Now I've already written the article, so I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what the content will look like. We get an outline, we get the first draft of the article, and then we can actually go ahead and expand the article. And as you can see here, it's really good. There's bolded words. We have a table. We have a lot of content. We have some case studies and we have a conclusion and an FAQ titles, meta descriptions, and we also have a key takeaway. So in terms of word count, this is about 2000 words, right? If we were to go ahead and write this article, like if we pop this, just simply that um, title into ChatGPT, 
we would get probably 500 or maybe 800 words maximum. But again, as you can see here, we're able to get list tables. We're able to get bolded words. And we're also able to write over 2,000 words um, with titles, meta descriptions, and a key takeaway, right? Very, very quickly. So this is a really, really great way in which you can efficiently write high quality content using the AI tool like WordRocket. So again, if you want to check this out, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video, because all you have to do at this point is copy over the content and paste it into your WordPress site. So once you kind of have an idea of how you're going to write your content, now it's just about rinse and repeating and optimization. So of course, you're going to need to properly optimize your content. Yes, we do a pretty good job at optimizing it for you, but you need to include internal links. You need to include external links. You also need to make sure your title and your meta description is SEO optimized. These are pretty good. So you can just go ahead and use these and then just do basic on page SEO work. And you also want to start building authority and backlinks to your website. And once you do so, then all you have to do is rinse and repeat the process with the blog post in which you have, have a really good process to create articles quickly, pop it onto your site, aim to do at least hundred articles per month. I think that is reasonable 20 articles per week. You can even do more if you want to grow a little bit faster. Right, but it's the name of the game is quality and quantity. You need to find that middle ground um, when you're creating content and build that topical authority. Don't be afraid to go deep in a specific niche. And then you can combine that with doing traditional keyword research methods by using a tool like Ahrefs or SEM Rush. So I hope that this video was useful for you. Again, if you want to get a little bit more in-depth, if you want to get more one-to-one -one time with me, you can join my school community. We do live weekly trainings and we'll be doing a full case study. And also, if you would like to use WordRocket for yourself, again, I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.